Hello, my dear friend. You are looking at the second part of the review of the Elrond Network project. In this part I will tell you a lot of interesting things, so let's go. The scalability problem of trustless computing can be represented as a dilemma. The scalability dilemma is based on the assertion that in blockchains, where each node processes each calculation and all nodes participate in consensus, the nodes can have two sides out of three, safety, scalability and decentralized creation of new blocks, DBP. Elrond Network is a project that is finally able to solve the dilemma of blockchain scalability of networks and enhance the interaction of technology with real sectors of the economy. The main objective of Elrond Network is to create a new blockchain architecture that goes beyond the current level and is designed for practical scalability using adaptive state separation and secure transaction confirmation suppose. In an ecosystem that is committed to inter-network interoperability, their intelligent contract solution offers an EVM-compatible mechanism to ensure interoperability and in design. This is a guarantee that Elrond Network will be relevant in an ever-growing blockchain environment. Elrond Network is a complete rethinking of a shared blockchain architecture specifically designed to provide overall overall improvement due to scalability, efficiency, and security while maintaining a fairly decentralized configuration. To achieve this goal, the team has implemented a new adaptive state separation mechanism that provides scalability as more and more nodes join the network, paralyzing transaction processing. At the consensus level, Elrond proposes a new mechanism called the Secure Proof of Stake, introducing a random selection of the consensus group, a bet plus rate as a function of suitability for preventing civil attacks and almost instant finality based on PBFT. To provide decentralized applications, Elrond is designed so that it is compatible with EVM and UASM, supports multiple languages of smart contracts, and formal verification. To date, Elrond has made significant progress in developing its product. Thanks to the last iteration of their network, completely rewritten in the language of the Go code, the team was able to reach 3750 plus TPS in one segment, which is a significant improvement since their prototype. This shows that the team is committed to its roadmap, ensuring continuous progress even before fundraising, and investors know in advance what they are investing in. Testnet is successfully up and running, and Elrond's early blockchain also has a handy UX that will be available to the public in the next few months. Competitors of Elrond Network The main competitors of Elrond Network are EOS, Zillica, Chain and Quark Chain. All these competitors are trying to solve problems with scalability and offer solutions that provide high bandwidth TPS while maintaining appropriate levels of security. They also take a different beaten path between the chains, which is also solved by many other projects, such as Polkadot and Chain. There are all chances to outrun their competitors by giving the crypto community and the whole world a viable product that will take over the competition and integrate the network into the relevant infrastructure projects of the blockchain. The technical approach of Elrond developers to creating a highly scalable blockchain is called adaptive sharding. This technology combines all three types of shards into a solution that will improve performance due to parallel processing, improve communication within shards, reduce storage space, and also allow the system to scale almost linearly. Allowing changes in the dynamic mode of the number of shards, in accordance with available validator resources, has a significant impact not only on the throughput, but also on the efficiency of the entire network. The sharding mechanism used in the Elrond blockchain is based on a binary tree structure. Thus, after calculating the shard number, this number is used for the deterministic translation of the account address to the shard. Transaction management in shards, is also deterministic, by matching the addresses of the recipient and sender accounts with the assigned shards. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel if you liked the video and put on a liking before the new meetings.